Okay guys, so here we are out in the Arkansas mountains. Anyway, we're headed out here to meet Chris Holloway and his wife and um, then we are going to convoy with them out to Bird's Adventure Center. Uh, they're doing some kind of rendezvous and bonfire uh, tonight and uh, so we'll camp one night there and kind of hang out with everybody. Hope to see you there. Thanks for tuning in here on this episode. Uh, hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber already, please consider becoming a subscriber today. It's free. Just drop the little subscription button and then hit the notification icon. You can check out all of our other episodes. So, stay tuned here. Okay, so, we are out here. This park is really cool, but it's really busy. But like we're right down here on the river. We're gonna go hit a couple of trails with Chris and kind of go from there. So stay stay in here with us. And... Okay, so we're kind of getting on our first little off-road parts here. And I would say probably already we're probably in some of the worst stuff we've been in this it's truck. It's pretty though. It's really nice. Probably uh, the wet help makes it worse though. When yeah. It's been raining so much. Well, and mostly too just because like really we've just been overland camping in this truck. We haven't really got it on any trails, you know, so this is... I mean, it's not the first trail, but it's definitely probably the roughest, I would say, already. So, but Chris Holloway from More Expo is just ahead of us in his Lexus. So, if he's doing it, we can do it. <laughs> but the trail pretty much turns into a creek. You just kind of keep going. Does this remind anybody else of the scene from Revenant? Me. Oh, alrighty then. 
<laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Reminds me of the movie Anaconda. Hey, old school. <laughs> so you guys do have an upside, and that's how narrow you are right now. This is going to be a chore in South picking Brandy up. You're going to have to just climb on and hang on. You ready? He was taking video about us coming down. Yeah, I thought he like, was. Like, what the wrong with this crazy guy in a truck? <laughs> I mean, this is, this is. Crazy. This is a good trail for the Jeep. Yeah. Hey, can you go get my muffler out of the creek, Chris? <laughs> I don't know what that was. It sounded like something flung off. Uh, I'm gonna stop for a minute. I I put a uh, I got a hitch on there to kind of help save my gas tank. My diff drug a little bit, but it'd be all right. I think ours did too. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is a pretty cool trail. Yeah. Well, this is more of a Jeep trail. Usually, I'd say so. Yeah. <laughs> what on earth is this? Thing? That's my video light. Oh, really? It'll light up like the whole camp. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Okay, so we just came through that creek, and man, we were slamming on something. I'm like, oh god, this is not good. Anyway, we got like high centered on something, or stuck on it, and that's the first time I kicked the old uh, rear diff lockers in and just crawled right out of there. So, um, makes a big difference even on this F-150. So I figured we'd get a little video of Brandy winded here. <laughs> Just ran up this hill. 
This is a way, I say it all the time, and I'm gonna say it again. The video does not do this stuff justice for how steep it is. Yeah. This uh, is really steep, steepest thing we've ever had this truck on. There's a lot of firsts today for this truck. Hopefully it's not the first time it broke down on it. <laughs> you know, we got the guy from Moore Expo in front. Everybody knows he's not a real off-roader. <laughs> Yeah, well, you can say He's that. Proven, proven it to be true today that he is an off-roader. Uh-oh. Oh, locked him right in. And I didn't have to back up or anything, but maybe once, so. That rear locker makes a good difference. Oh gosh, yeah, I got That's stuck a couple right. times. Did you get stuck? Usually what I do when somebody does that is I just bounce over to channel five. Okay guys, so we've been out here riding for, I don't know, hour, hour and a half. And uh, by far some of the coolest riding slash trails that I have ever been on in Arkansas. Yeah, they're cool. Deer Arkansas is cool, but no comparison. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and follow us on other platforms, Instagram, Facebook, all the good stuff. We do a lot more uh, daily updates and stuff on there, so check those out. Make sure you watch our videos all the way to the end, and we'll see you at the end. Yeah, Careful. It's slippery. It is slippery. Very slippery.
is. So this is the new Kuma tailgate and go grill. Thank you, Taylor. We're super excited to cook on this whole. Heck, we got like a whole kitchen here now. Refrigerator, freezer, grill, stove, sink. We've got it all. I didn't realize this was on here. That's cool. Okay guys, we're here at the Bonfire Rendezvous at Birds, and we're going to do something a little different for dinner tonight. So, the plan is lemon pepper, chicken breast, rice, and just for the sake of it, we'll quarter these up like we normally do. And then what we do is we're going to wait here to, uh, to put our lemon pepper and our lemon and our lemon pepper on there. But we will put a little olive oil on them. And what that'll do is it'll kind of help sear and kind of crisp the edges of these. We're gonna take it over here to our tailgate and go, which has a Kuma grill attached to the edge of it. it runs off of a one pound propane bottle. And as you can see, this is the first thing that's ever gonna be cooked on this. It smells like a hibachi grill. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear the side, we'll flip it over pretty quick, sear the other side, and then we'll just kind of keep them moving and slow bake them after that. Okay guys, so we're gonna flip these chicken breasts, and you don't want them to get too done. You don't really wanna see char marks in them on your first flip. And then after this first flip, you'll still have softness, and you'll still have like that chicken gelatin. And that is when you wanna put your um, lemon pepper on there or your peppercorn which is what we're getting ready to do yeah. so we're gonna get our first dab of seasoning on these and we just want kind of want to get that on there lightly like that okay so we're gonna let that roast for a little while now and until the other side is just kind of uh, almost that white color and then we'll flip it back over and we'll season the other side and then pretty quick after that we can crank the grill up a little bit and really get them cooking Hey, look, that plane just landed right Are there. You See it? Right, right. Look. It's so crazy. It landed it off. Oh, it's like a plane. You want to get it just before it starts. Yep. See, that one was a little too long. See how it's kind of black, black and brown? And then we'll close that thing down and let it get good and smoky in there and that's what gives that chicken that good flavor. The more smoke, the better. Just putting some pepper on these things, with some salt, some oil. Slam them on the grill. Pray they don't burn. Well, I'm running the grill. So okay, good. So we're not gonna burn. I'm not going to mess it up then. Just get your thing over there. I know you're here to see some good cooking. You're looking at the wrong place. That's not true. Right over here on this Yeah, look grill. over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're ready to flip these. And we're gonna get some lemon juice on the other side. Okay, so now we're just gonna let them simmer for about another seven, eight minutes, and then we'll be ready to go. Brandy's rice is looking pretty good. It's almost done. All right, guys, for all those of you that said we were a one-trick pony on meals, look at that. It's about the best-looking chicken breast I've ever seen in my life. So we're going to enjoy this now, and then we'll check back with you here a little bit. <laughs> That's better. All right, I'm going to hit you with a fastball, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a baseball.
I no. think we need to get the bottom of it. So. No, it's weird. <laughs> I was I was gonna yell, shut up! <laughs> they were making me mad. I was just kidding. <laughs> Mom, you are lying. Oh, you said you didn't have a meal? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so we are leaving the event out here, the old bonfire rendezvous at the Birds, Birds, Birds Adventure Center. And uh, you know, pretty cool if that's your thing. If you're a guy like Montero Mike and you like music festivals, this is your thing. <laughs> you're packed in around people, they camp right in your camp, people are wandering through your camp. People are parking in your camp all night people long. People are parking and in your camp. In. Here's a little grass, I'll park here. You go to sleep here in laughter and yelling and you wake up here and screaming for kids. <laughs> if that's your thing, this is your event. That was a good sale. Like yeah, that, so, I mean, some people love that. But in all reality, it was cool meet, meeting and mingling with a lot of the people that are out there. Uh, we always have a good time with Chris and his wife, Megan, from the more event. Um, so we hung out with them, kind of hung out with some other people that maybe have seen us or uh, come over and introduce themselves. So anyway, the event was pretty cool. We didn't do much hanging out around the bonfire like everybody else did, but that was an option for people. So get the chance maybe come check it out also I will say maybe the lady behind your counter work on your manners a little bit she wasn't rude to me but I saw her be rude to several other people just not cool when people come out there to spend the weekend they spend money at your establishment and you treat them like they're trailer trash or something no offense against all you trailer people love trailers and people in them <laughs> hashtag trailer life so anyway, um, we're headed home, but we're not like in a big rush. We kind of want to do some sightseeing, maybe see if we can find another herd of elk. And uh, I'll tell you, we only did like one trail ride here, but it was absolutely beautiful. So we're coming back. We're coming back. And when we come back, we're going to take a small private group of maybe four or five rigs. And we're primitive camping. And we're camping <laughs> wherever the hell we park. So if you'd like to be included in that little primitive overlanding camp crew, Drop a comment below and we'll maybe reach out. We're gonna pick maybe four other rigs other than us and we'll do something like that. So hope to see your name on the list. And until next time, we'll see you on the trail. Or in a parking lot full of a ton of people.